I'm Phil. And I'm Angelina. With our husky lightning and a lot of wildlife around us, we live in this fairy tale chateau in France. We love bringing this neglected castle back to life inside. And we've got the vast grounds and parkland to take care of as well. We love the moat, but it brings some challenges with it. But it's all worth it when we get to share it with everyone at our live music events. Follow the ups and downs of our chateau life. The carp fish fountain is uh, a really important feature of the moat and the back garden. I need that working, both for aeration and obviously it looks great in the background when the event's going on. It's just a great feature to get running again. And more importantly, the electrics which run the pump for that are also tied into the electrics for the event space outside. So it all needs to be working. And before I do a second coat of that oil on the bridge, I need to get underneath the bridge and sort out the electrics for that. So I bought a pump. Let's get this fitted and let's get that fountain working. Pump is connected to the fountain. It's not connected to the electrics properly. It's just a plug at the moment. I can do that afterwards, but let's test it. This fountain hasn't run for two years now. Uh, uh, that, as they say, is a little bit upsetting, but that's an easy fix. We've got split in the pipes going up to it. That's easy to cut out and rejoin. And even though we've got that loss of pressure, you are seeing some come out of the place it's supposed to be, out of the mouths. Hmm, that's always annoying. Do you know what? It's always a bit disappointing when things don't just work, but showing that leak so easily, it's not in the pipe work that's under the water, which would be much more difficult. That's an easy fix. The water level's low. I can get waders on, go in and deal with that tomorrow. Sun shining, time for dinner, and to enjoy a sunset. It's the next day. It's currently 37 degrees. So I'm getting in the moat to cool down. Always a lovely view from down here. And this is a lot cooler. So this is the fountain up close. So we're supposed to have water out of all these fins. Out of these bits and of course the mouth and then the big one at the top. However, that's gonna be a bit of an issue. All the water's coming out. So if I cut that, shorten it, put that back on here with the Jubilee clip. I think I'll probably do the same over here is it's not looking fantastic. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll have a decent fountain. And I can clean these all up because yeah, a bit of silt. Well, that one was working. And then we can have this going, which will be lovely. Nice view from down here. Now, this has been cut back. Some Jubilee clips have been put on to give that added pressure. Get my tools. We have found some small holes, which I'm going to have to deal with. Looks like some have been dealt with before in different places. But let's give that a go and see what happens. Distinctly better. It's time to get down and have a closer look. We're losing quite a bit out of that small hole, which I showed. Looks like there's another one on that fin over there. So while it's running, let's go have a look. Hmm. Well, there's a lot more water. A lot coming out in the wrong places. 
So let's play with it. All, right, all I'm doing, these weren't working before, cleaning these out, the little screwdriver. We do have further leak in there, which I can't deal with right now. But if I alleviate the pressure in other places, we can get more water coming out. Stay a dribble, is it? These ones are now good. Try a few of these. Get in there. Yeah, I'm on. Okay, where else? Yeah, it's starting to get somewhere. Uh, yeah, walk around under the fountain. See, that's not supposed to be coming out there, that is re-leading. Uh, let's try that top one as well. All right, well, it's working to a point. And let me show you what I cannot fix without lifting this out of the moat entirely. We have that hole in the side there, which I could do in situ, and this split seam there. But there are quite a few which need lead soldering back up. This is where it's losing pressure. Not to mention, we've got a huge water leak from in there. So where it goes in and becomes watertight, I really do need to take this off and seal it up. But it's doing its job at the moment and water is coming out, which is helping to aerate this and spray a nice fine mist everywhere. I've been clearing these out with a screwdriver. So let's see what it looks like right there. That's unfortunately as good as I can get it without lifting it out and soldering the entire thing up. So that's going to have to wait until we dredge the moat, which interestingly, we actually got quotes for this morning. So we're waiting for those to come back. There's no point in doing more than that. And certainly I don't have time with how close the event is. So that's going to look good for the event. It's going to put a little bit of aeration into the, into the uh, water. So now it's on to the next job because it's panic stations. It's in 12 days to the event.